For example, if my dad wasn't late pulling out, I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> oh, I love the demographics here. I thought I'd be the only minority. I see like only like white people and Hispanics though. Know, like, and I, I gotta be honest though. I'm like, I think um, it's because Donald Trump came in office. All the Hispanics were in Kissimmee were like, oh, we have to move. ICE is coming. We have to go that the way. <laughs> a little fucked up, I know, but it's all good, though. So, um, interesting times we live in, though. Um, a lot of shit's going on nowadays, but I feel like altogether I'm part of, like, the wrong generation. You know what I mean? Like, in terms of, like, millennials and the way they behave and compared to, like, some of the things I do. Like, and I'll just give you one example to start off. Like, the way people ask for sex nowadays, like, everyone wants to be discreet. I'd rather be direct, you know? Like, have you guys ever heard of, anyone in here have ever heard of the term Netflix and chill? Very discreet way to say I want to smash, right? I don't, I don't use that though. You know, I, I prefer using things like, hey baby, do you want to come over and watch some Netflix and then uh, we can make a sex flick? Can we watch Hulu and then right after, I'm going to fuck you? <laughs> Older women, I see y'all in the crowd too. Don't worry, I got something for y'all. Don't worry, I like cougars too. Can we watch a little blockbuster and I'ma hit you with that cock thruster? <laughs> just saying though, this shit works though. You just gotta ask them, you know? Another thing too though, with the younger generation though, is like, having sex is weird nowadays. Like, I'm confused over what girls want, you know? Like, if you was to compare the way people dated and had sex from, like, let's say, the 1960s or 50s to today, and you use movies as, as a reference, right? It's like we went from a romance film to, like, a horror. Like, back in the day, girls wanted to, like, hold hands, cuddle, wanted to hold the door open for them. Now girls just want to get choked and tortured by some guy they call daddy. <laughs> It, it fucking scares me, like, you you can't even, like, scare your girl nowadays. Like, as a man, back in the day, you, you, you'd be able to scare your girl, you know? You'd be like, yo, do the dishes, or I'm gonna choke the shit out of you. Then it'll just be like, oh, are you gonna choke me harder this time, daddy? <laughs> Doesn't even work no more, man. I had one time where this girl actually told me, like, the only thing she didn't like was like, I, was, I wasn't I was rough enough during sex, right? And true story. And I'm just in my head thinking like, let me, let me imagine myself getting into it. So like, I'm having sex and then I hit her and she's like, harder, boom, harder. You hit like a fucking bitch. What? I hit kind of hard. I'll just be like, boom. Then she's knocked out, and for me to finish, I feel like Bill Cosby, like... Oh. I just can't do it, man. Dating, oh man, it's hard nowadays, you know? It's hard because, like, one thing, girls, like, talk shit nowadays. You know, they will talk bad to you. They're not scared to talk bad to you, which, which is, in a way, is kind of nice, but... I had this one chick I was dating one time, right? She said, um... She's like, oh, you're so stupid. Like, all you do is act like a clown all day, and I'm like, so what? She's like, well, I would prefer if you would act like a mime. And I was like, well, why a mime? She's like, well, because mimes know how to shut the fuck up. <laughs> all right, you guys, that's all the time I got. Give it up for your host. Thank you. <laughs> 